This Japanese style black cod is a delicious weeknight dinner that tastes more like a high quality restaurant dinner. The key is to marinate the fish and unlike some other fish, this marinade can sit in the fish all day or even overnight. So you can throw it together in the morning and when you come home from work, just spend a few minutes cooking it. What you're gonna use is two fillets of black cod. I got them with the skin on because I'd like to use the skin on fish because it doesn't get overcooked on one side. So I can keep it on the pan for a while um, while it just cooks through. This is not the same as cod. Black cod is actually sable fish, completely different fish family than the cod. Lastly, watch out for bones. There's definitely some bones in, uh, in here. What I did is cook it first and then I removed the bones, which I find much easier than trying to do it with a raw piece of fish. So other than that, you should be good to go. So for the marinade, you're gonna be using garlic. I used two cloves that I smash. You're gonna also be using about a one inch piece of ginger. You're gonna be using a red chili pepper. I cut the top off and seed it. You're also gonna be using about a quarter cup of scallions cut up. Um, you're gonna use some sake cooking wine. I also bought this soybean paste uh, miso. So I went with a red miso. I got uh, granulated sugar. You're gonna use half a cup of sugar to help sweeten up everything. So starting with a quarter cup of miso paste, you're gonna then add half a cup of sake, the cooking wine. To that, you're gonna add uh, the two cloves of garlic and the two pieces of ginger. You can see I left the peels on. And then a handful of scallions. Since this is a recipe for kids, I dilute the miso with a half a cup of water. This is not mandatory, just depends on how strong of a miso flavor you want in your fish. I've also added the chopped up chili as well as half a cup of sugar. Now I just put it on the stove top for a few minutes, just letting this sugar dissolve. You don't have to get it up to boiling, but definitely after you're done that, make sure you cool the marinade down before you add the fish. After the marinade is done um, cooking, what you can do is either add some ice cubes to it and another uh, tablespoon or two of miso, or just let it cool um, on the counter or in the refrigerator. At that point, you're just gonna add your fish and then you can let it uh, marinate all day. To help keep the, uh, the fish down, I added a uh, glass mug just so the fish wouldn't float to the top. Take the fish out the marinade and to a hot pan, add the fish flesh side down and let it cook for about five minutes. You just want to get some nice color on the fleshy side of the fish. After those five minutes, you're going to flip over the fish and then it's just a matter of cooking it in about a quarter cup of marinade at a time. Every three to four minutes, add another quarter cup right over the fish. It will just fill the fish with such delic delicious sorry, flavors. You can see I also added the lid to the um, fish while it was cooking this way when the uh, steam comes up it keeps the, the steam on the fish so it doesn't dry out while it's cooking. So at this point the fish is done cooking it's reached 135 degrees it has nice color on the outside as well as um, it definitely has a lot of softness and tenderness on the inside. What I do at this point is chop up some green onions as well as some cilantro. Uh, people can sprinkle it on top of the fish if they wish. If people are scared of green things, they do not need to add it to the fish. Um, I like to serve this with a simple kale and tomato salad as well as some rice. And uh, usually for my serving, at least I add a little bit of the pepper right on there. It gives it a nice, uh, nice touch of heat to the fish. Uh, please come see my other recipes. Uh, Steve Cooks Food is the YouTube channel. Got some fun ones on there. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much. Take care.